In this video, I thought we'd have a quick look at the resources available to Bricks Builder via the WordPress store uh, or plugins. And you can see I've just typed in the word Bricks to do a search, and we've come up with Bricksable, Max add ons, and also Bricks Navigator. A Bricks Navigator is a great way to get around your site, and generally, within one click, you can be pretty much anywhere where you want to be from the settings uh, to the templates you've created to the pages that you've created, the getting started custom font, sidebar system information and license information, and then links to uh, off-site pages like the Idea Board, Roadmap, Changelog, Academy, Forum, Facebook group, and the official YouTube channel. And then, of course, there are links to the various communities. So a really quick and easy way then to get around bricks as well as find resources references without having to do uh, too much hard work. So that's a great one to have installed. It doesn't do anything inside of um, the Bricks Builder itself, but it does give you this handy navigator. The other two that we're going to look at then will be the Bricksable for Bricks Builder and Max add-ons. Both of these add functionality that you can use inside your page. Now, instead of installing and going through and showing you how each one is set up and the various settings available, I'm just going to take you over to their website so you can have a quick look. So if we have a look at the elements here, we'll start with the last element here, and this is on Bricksable. So we have the content toggle element, and what's nice is they do have a demo of the uh, feature in action. And you'll see how very nicely you can switch between different content elements. Um, here we have an FAQ section, for example, and that works really well. Uh, the two elements that um, had a bit of strange behavior then was this pricing table. And you'll see how the pricing table appears and then disappears. And the same with the wedding events and the portraits and the images. So if I just uh, reload that page, you'll see that uh, when you first load, you have the elements. At the moment you click, uh, there seems to be something wrong with the way that they are rendered. However, you get the idea, and here we can see the working version. So that was the um, first element that I looked at, and that was the toggle. Then we have a look at the multi-heading element, and this is a really great feature on the website. And you can have a look here and see the different kinds of headings that you can add. And from changing the fonts, uh, backgrounds on specific words, colors on specific words, uh, if we scroll down a bit more, you can see here we have part of it in bold, part normal. Um, here we have different uh, formatting on headings. You can even take it to the next level here where you have um, a mask effect. So you'd have an image perhaps then in in the um, being displayed through the text. And here we even have an animation coming through. And then here are some really great examples of what's possible. So as you can see from uh, gradients to uh, backgrounds, you'll see they have different curve on the borders, uh, different corners, um, different text. So yeah, this is a this looks like a really great addition to have on your website if you're looking for a whole lot of different headings. So that's the multi-heading element on Bricksable. Then we have a look at this icon list element, and this is another great feature. And you'll see what's possible, and you can see how that's been integrated. And even here, showing how you can use that uh, if you've created a pricing table. So, yeah, it looks like a really nice element to use with some nice formatting options, as you can see here with the color. So, that's the icon list element. Um, then we have the before and after, and that's uh, something you may have seen. We're just moving the scroller, and you can see the before and after elements. And then here, once again, and then you see you can scroll in the vertical or navit or horizontal. And once again, um, the other thing that you can do here is actually add some filters. So you'll see that the image on the left slightly has an overlay, the image on the right not, and the same here with overlay, without overlay. So there are things that you can do then with filters, and that can make your before and after pictures just a little bit more interesting. 
So that's the before and after. Then we have this uh, floating option. And what that does is it creates all these floating elements. Now they're not affected by the mouse movement. And you'll see how they gently float um, up and down. You'll see that here, um, over here on the right hand side. You'll also notice that there are some interesting text effects happening here on the titles. And we'll get to those now as well. So yeah, a nice little uh, floating element effect. Then we have the Lottie animation. So uh, these are animated elements that you can now have available on your page. And we also have um, different ways of activating them. So here we have it activated on hover. Here it is activated on click. And here it just plays in the viewport. And then an interesting one is the trigger on scroll. So riding forward and then pedaling backwards. So a really nice um, add-on as well then is the ability now to include Lottie animations. Then we have the text notation and you might have seen some of these earlier. So what the notations do is they allow you to add, for example, there we just have this line underneath Brixable. Here we have a block drawn around the word. And here we have an example of those annotations then so just little ways that you can highlight areas, but make it look like, um, you know, it was done by hand and not as neat, <clears throat> perhaps as you would with a style sheet or similar. And then we have the uh, tilt image um, or the tilt option. And you'll see here that as you move over each element, they tilt and this does react to the movement of your mouse. So wherever my mouse is, it's creating a different effect. And then here, it's applied to the um, plate. And then here we have some different settings. So I'm not sure if that's something that everybody would want to use. Um, and then here you can see it used with some overlay content. And this really does give the impression um, with the way that the movement occurs that this may well be some kind of a 3D layout. So that could be interesting. Um, yeah, so. Um, just have to think about where you would use that. And then we have the flip box. So the flip, flip box is, um, as, as it says, as you move your mouse, you'll see that the box flips and you'll see a whole lot of really interesting uh, flip box effects and definitely has a real 3D feel to it. Um, these are a little bit faster. And once again, you you have that 3D effect. So a completely different approach. And then here, once again, you'll see the text doesn't float as much. So it doesn't have that 3D effect as much as it had on some of these others. But still, if you like the flip, personally not a fan. Um, just you have to remember so much now about this page, about where you saw something, and then it's to go back and find the information again. Um, you are not not crazy unless you maybe use it in some kind of a promo but um yeah there you have the flip effect and it looks really good with this 3d effect i have to say that works really well so those are the features that are included here with brixable and as i say these are um, free so if you want to use them just click on start using it'll take you through to the wordpress page or you can access via your um, wordpress uh, plugin section. So that's the plugins from Brixable, a nice collection. Then we have a look at these max add-ons and the max add-ons we then access here from the WordPress plugin page. And you'll notice that they do have slightly similar um, backgrounds on their plugin pages, although the logos are completely different. If we scroll down here, you'll see that they have um, some, some uh, demos as well. So let's have a look at this call to action. So this call to action button is a little bit different to normal. And you can see you can actually add um, elements in, in a different way to the buttons. So you can also then create some interesting buttons on the website, not just the standard button. So that's something to have a look at. The next one we'll have a look at then is the flip box. So similar to what we saw previously, we have all these different flip box here. And you can see they have um, some different effects. 
um, also give this kind of a 3D effect here on these flip boxes. And this is a little bit different because when you hover over, the flip box actually flips in a different space. So I'm not sure how that'll work. And then here we just have the flip boxes, but working in a sliding configuration. So that's the flip box from Max Add-ons. There is an icon list. There's no demo page for that. Then we have the image accordion. So if you click here, you'll see that the image changes. Here we have it, the same effect, but using the hover. And then here, once again, the hover and here using the click. So that's the accordion um, image option. Then we have the image comparison, which is similar to the example you may have seen before. So you have the before and after, and you can see both in the vertical and the horizontal. Um, then we have the multi-heading. So the multi-heading also then allows you to create some interesting heading effects. And you can see different fonts and colors. Um, even here, you can have a border and then just the background. So you can create some nice, interesting headers. So that looks quite interesting. Can add some interesting elements to your website. The Contact Form 7 Styler. If anybody's used Contact Form 7, you'll know what the default styles look like. And you can see here that they've made some subtle changes then to the styles available. So if you do use Contact Form 7, this might be something to investigate a little bit closer. Uh, there's also a gravity form and a fluent form styler. Let's have a look at the uh, random image. So the random image is, as it says, um, as you refresh the page, the image will change. In this case, it looks like it's just going to be the one image. And then, of course, it does have uh, some other options here including lightbox support. Okay, so that's the random image. And then we have the content ticker. So what you'll notice here is that if I just leave on the page for a while, you'll actually notice that the content is changing on its own. So these are sliding up. And then here we have elements that are sliding across the page and an element here that is then um, that one isn't uh, that one is sliding just very really subtle you'll notice just the number changing on each item um, and then over here we have vertical or horizontal so that might be something you'd want to use to draw somebody's attention to something and as you can see here we're pulling through some image post meta so it can be used for dynamic content or just standard right so that's the um, ticker so that could also have an, an interesting use on the website and then of course with um, the max add-ons they also do have a premium version um, so there's a whole lot more that you can get then with the pro version these include post titles tables um, but we're just gonna we're just looking at uh, essentially then at what's available um, for free so that's the two uh, plugins then, the Max plugins, Max add-ons, and then also the Brixable, which adds some interesting content elements. And then, of course, we have the Brix Navigator, which is a useful navigation tool. Let's just have a look at that under more details. There you have the um, option. It's a very quick, easy installation. Simply install, and you're ready to go. Right, well... That wraps up what's available for free via the WordPress plugins. Uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching.